Hello fellow YouTubers, uh, this will be my first uh, time sitting in front of a camera. Uh, I had forgotten I even had this web camera um, after my last movie got packed up and uh, put into a box and I completely forgot I had it. Uh, I had a uh, viewer comment on how I needed a better camera and um, uh, then I remembered I had this. Uh, it won't help me necessarily with uh, some of the you know, tabletop reviews per se where I'm trying to aim the camera at something, but uh, eh, maybe I can do some uh, reviews just, you know, talking to the camera. So, uh, you have to forgive me, my first time sitting and actually sitting in front of the camera and talking to uh, whoever is going to find this video, and so if I'm a little nervous, you'll have to uh, forgive me. Um, I wanted to talk today about a piece of gear that uh, could be very useful to, uh, um, you know, just uh, people who, who like to carry a lot of equipment with them in general. Um, or several pieces of equipment actually. Uh, for us people who like to carry a lot of knives and, and uh, uh, other gear with us. Um, and uh, it's a pair of cargo pants. Uh, I've only seen one other review on YouTube on uh, the Duluth Trading Company. Uh, they, uh, they provide some excellent gear uh, their customer service is uh, top notch. Um, they uh, they they just it's, a, it's an excellent overall company. And plus, they have they have a, a very eclectic uh, amount of items uh, for just about uh, anybody to uh, to pick from. So, but uh, today I'm talking about uh, one item in particular. It's there. Dare you to wear them out? Fire hose canvas work pants and uh, excellent piece of kit. Uh, the the dare you wear it out guarantee that they have on it. It's basically a lifetime guarantee, a lifetime of the pants. Uh, if you do you wear out the canvas pants for any reason, you put a hole in them, you you tear them, you uh, uh, you know, just the, the the seams come undone, whatever. If something happens to them, you can replace them no cost to you. You uh, literally just slap a... One of the neat things about the Duluth tra Trading Company is they, they ship out all their, their products pretty much uh, with a uh, uh, label on the invoice so that uh, for any reason you have uh, you decide to send it back and want a refund, want to replace the item, whatever it is, um, you can just slap the, the label on the box and ship the item back. Um, and so it's no cost to you, very easy way to uh, uh, replace or send back items uh, for refunds. But the, in addition, on these Duluth Trading Company uh, canvas pants, if, if they wear out for any reason, you can just replace the pants. So uh, it's a very, very nice uh, uh, policy for, for Duluth. Uh, again, top-notch top company. But the, the Blue Trading Company uh, canvas work pants, um, Firehose canvas work pants, are, are really tough. I mean, Firehose canvas was used for years. I think they've since replaced it with synthetics. But uh, for Firehose uh, canvas uh, was used for years is what they wrapped the uh, fire hoses uh, in to prevent the, the hose from abrading and uh, uh, shooting water everywhere under high pressure. So. Um, it was the outer sheath, and, and the fire hose canvas is, is tough, tough stuff to begin with. So um, these are, it's a tough bit of gear for um, all us gearheads to carry all our equipment in. Uh, to review the pants, we'll go ahead and show you here. I'm wearing them right now. Now I would love to wear these year-round, all the time. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I live in Florida, so I can't. Uh, after a while, we, we kind of want to get to shorts weather uh, because it's just too hot. But um, uh, as soon as it gets cool enough, I, I will wear these almost religiously because the pants are, are just incredibly comfortable because the, the, they've, uh, the, the special goss uh, gusset, you know, uh, that they put in there to the, the crotch area, you know, for us guys. You can definitely crouch without the ouches, as uh, a Duluth Trading Company says. Um, 
the cargo capacity on these pants is is just enormous. Um, they have have these huge cargo pockets with a flap over the top that has Velcro uh, points so you can secure the flap down. Or um, because you know these are made for trades tradesmen, it has Velcro on the inside to keep the flap down. So you can tuck the flap in and it'll it'll stay because of the Velcro. Um, they're made for tradesmen to carry large amounts of, like, say, screws or nails or whatever it is you you would uh, be putting in the pants. Um, your your uh, measuring tapes, other tools, um, and these huge pockets. I mean, I got my full my my hand basically like full extension inside the pocket, and uh, it's, it's so they're very very wide, and they're um, pretty pretty deep and uh, so in addition to these large cargo pockets uh, they have you know some utility pockets on the outside uh, this one is actually as you can see it's got this, the, the velcro secure uh, velcro on it so that when the flaps down it actually provides some uh, amount of, of security for what the items that are in this pocket you know, so they won't fall out however this utility pocket off the side here uh, I found it works perfectly as a knife pocket. Um, as a person who's always carrying uh, different knives with me, I found that this is excellent uh, for that. Uh, for example, right now I have my Raja 3 pocket knife, and that fits perfectly in this pocket and allows me easy access, easy deployment. So, perfect for a knife. Um, on the other side, I like to keep my EDC light because on the other side, it's the exact mirror of uh, the other side. And you have another utility pocket down here. So, I like my EDC light on my left hand side to keep my right hand, my dominant hand, free to deploy my blade. And so, that fits perfect on there. Um, the pockets up front uh, on these pants are uh, just amazingly deep. Um, these these, these uh, pockets are very, very deep. <laughs> they are basically a canvas bag. And uh, again, canvas. You're not going to put your keys through the air unless you have some very sharp keys. Um, it's, it's basically a canvas bag that's been secured on the inside. It's tacked along the seam, and it's also secured right into the waistband uh, at the top so that uh, you can put a lot of weight in these pockets and you're not going to have to worry about the pocket tearing out for any reason. Um, it, it also has, as you can see here on the right-hand side, it has a small change pocket on the inside so that you can hold something like, say, a zippo fits in there perfectly so that it keeps your equipment, like say your change or your zippo, um, it keeps it to, out of the way in the same place where it's easily accessible. Uh, or in, if you have a small key ring, you can put your keys in there, um, keeps them from moving around, jangling around. Uh, because of the depth of these pockets, if you are a individual who can legally carry a large uh, folding knife, like say, bad deployment, let me do that again, a Raja 2, you like a big knife, the big knife just disappears into the pocket. Um, it, it, plenty of space, plenty of space. So it just disappears in there and so that you're ready for deployment. All you have is your little lanyard and I found, you know, if I were to carry this, I definitely want a lanyard on it. And uh, so all you have is a little lanyard sticking out. It could be anything, keys, whatever, they don't know. But there you go, big knife. Or, you know, if you decided you like to you know, you also have the option of 
putting it in these pockets. Again, very deep. It's right in there. Or even big onic into oops, sorry. There we go. Big knife to that pocket. Again. Boom. Hidden. No problems. Not hard to get to. And boom. Ployed. So you have plenty of options with these pants for carrying knives. Uh, they also have these, you know, loops, tool loops. So you could say put a uh, tomahawk if you're out in the woods doing some uh, bushcrafting. You could have your tomahawk or a uh, a small hand axe or something, or a hammer for putting stakes into the ground. Whatever you can store tools in these loops, or even if you know you like uh, having a flashlight even handier. You get to put your flashlight there. Maybe you like having your pocket knife clipped up here. Found that it's it's reinforced here, so um, the pocket clip on the Raja. It's a little hard. There we go. Um, you could uh, put your pocket knife clip there. Your flashlight. If you like having all your gear within easy, you know, quick draw. Uh, distance of your hand, you can have it all right here. So, of course, equipment guys, if you like having lots of gear, you can easily find a place to carry your knives, flashlights, uh, tomahawks, all kinds of stuff. Now, because of the cargo capacity of these pants, you will find yourself potentially loading them up quite a bit. And uh, because you're loading them up, they tend to sag a bit. Um, and uh, so I found that my normal belt that I had did not work with these pants. And uh, so because these, the noble, normal belt would not work with these pants, I had to get another belt. Duluth also provides an option for that. This is, I believe, what they call their beefy belt. Um, it's as you can see, it's it's really thick. This is a this is a belt that uh, you're you're not going to wear out. It's like a almost like a saddle strap leather belt. Uh, the furnishings on it, the hardware on it, I guess you could say, is incredibly robust. That's not going to wear out. This is a almost a lifetime belt. I mean, it really is. Um, you're, you're not going to wear this belt out. And uh, for you people who uh, do a little CCW, you'll find you know, have a lot of weight around your waist anyway, uh, and you know that you know you're all, your your pants are always getting dragged down because of the weight around your waist. Well, this belt will definitely hold it. It could work as a gun belt uh, if you needed to. So, unfortunately, I can't uh, you know, conceal carry uh, because uh, I don't own any firearms. Well, I'm currently flat broke. So. Um, However, you know, once once I am able to uh, acquire the funds to to do so, I could easily with uh, uh, the licensing for it, and uh, you know, have a, definitely have a belt for it. Another piece of gear that uh, I found I, I purchased from from um, Duluth uh, was uh, a hat. I went ahead and got myself their wool. They call it their wool crusher. Uh, the wool crusher hat, you know, um, I live in Florida, and uh, I also unfortunately suffer from um, uh, suffer from, from uh, some light sensitivity and, and, and predilection towards headaches. And because, uh, because I do, um, I needed a, a hat to help keep the sun out of my eyes. Um, I also live in Florida, you know, uh, again, I live in Florida, so um, wait 15 minutes, it could be raining. And so having something to keep the rain out of my face, and as you can tell, I wear glasses. And so, you know, having a nice wide brim hat is almost uh, a necessity here in Florida. And uh, so, you know, I, I 
print print piece of kit right here too as well. This is their their wool crusher hat. Um, uh, I've had it for a while now and and I uh, absolutely love it. Um, so you know again, just uh, check out the Duluth Trading Company. Uh, they have a wide eclectic assortment of stuff on the website from uh, tools to uh, hard tradesman type uh, working clothes, um, knives, all kinds of stuff, bags. They, they, they have uh, have a lot of it. So you know, check out the Blue Trading Company. Uh, they even have a sale on those pants right now with five dollars off. And uh, yeah, check out some fire hose canvas, canvas work pants. Uh, you know, honestly, uh, as soon as you've had a pair on, <laughs> you uh, you won't want to swap to uh, blue jeans ever again. Uh, just uh, these are so comfortable. So anyway, that's uh, my first kind of uh, gear review, uh, bit of clothing uh, for our uh, us gear gearheads, and uh, definitely a way to carry all your gear. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.